Good evening, everyone. We are getting our first look today at the frightening moments during the July 14th police, police shooting. The BCI releasing officer body cam footage. For 1 minute 46 seconds, Officer Zach Robinson was the only officer facing off against the shooter, Mohamed Barakat. Since days after the shooting, Attorney General Drew Wrigley has been adamant the community needs to see the video to see what these officers go through in the line of duty so that we can be worthy of their service. But we warn you, it is difficult to watch. WDAY News reporter Nick Broadway explains what the video shows from Zachary Robinson's perspective and walks us through the ambush. We start at a routine fender bender. Officer Robinson, the man wearing this camera, is near one of the cars involved. From left to right, officers Jake Waleen, Tyler Hawes, and Andrew Dotis are seen walking up to the other car involved. Dotis! Robinson yells over to say he's moving his squad car to block traffic. Central, we got shots fired! Central, we got shots fired! Dotis is hit immediately with multiple rounds and goes down. He does struggle to his feet at one point and goes back down. Officer Haas and Waleen were also shot by Barakat. And just today we learned Officer Waleen got one shot off before he was killed. Robinson instantly ducks behind the car, firing back at Barakat. An officer's service pistol versus a modified rifle at 75 feet. Barakat is hit. Robinson avoids fire. Central, shots fired, shots fired. We got three officers down, three officers down. Send everybody. As Robinson gives several commands to put his hands up and drop the gun, Barakat is seen trying to chamber around into his 9mm pistol while writhing on the ground. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Robinson fires a few more rounds at Barakat, reloads his service pistol. Barakat is still seen reaching for his 9mm. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Robinson runs to the other side of Barakat's car as the shooter is still seen trying to chamber around. This is not television, of course, so anybody who you've ever talked to who's been in a firefight uh, of this kind will tell you a minute and 46 seconds is a lifetime. Moments later, Officer Michael Clower shows up as more police rush in unbeknownst to the arsenal of weapons hiding in Barakat's car and the man's sinister intentions if he was able to get away. And we're here live at the memorial for fallen officer Jake Walleen on 25th Street South. You can still see one month later, it is still here, still many American flags, many people still coming by to pay their respects all this time after the shooting. The chief of police says officer Zachary Robinson is now back on duty. He is working his shifts alongside another officer. Officers Hawes and Dotas are out of the hospital now, still recovering. And Carly Coswick, the bystander who was shot, she's recovering out east. Reporting live, Nick Broadway, WDAY News.